I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our WhatsApp group to participate actively. We have members from middle school to high school students and they are providing beautiful questions and excellent solutions are being provided by some of the members. Here is another very important question which I like to discuss. We have seen these types of questions at many different levels also in multiple choice competitive exams. This question relates percentage change in radius with percentage change in area and volume. Here is the question and let us see how to solve such uh, examples. Question here is area of an object is proportional to the square of radius and its volume is proportional to the cube of radius. Find the percent change in the area and volume of the object if the radius is increased by 20%. So let's first understand the concept. We have radius r and it is increased by, let me say, plus 20%, correct? Now, whenever we have percent examples, it is good to always assume value as 100. So if it is 100, if I'm saying increased by 20%, it becomes 120, correct? So that is percent of 20% increase in the radius. Now what we are saying here is that area is proportional to radius square. When we say proportional to, that means it is constant, it is equal to some constant, let's say k times r square. Now, if I have to find the percentage increase in the area, then how am I going to find? So, I need to find change in the area basically, right? So, change in area will be uh, final minus initial, right? So, constant k remains same always. So, we say always percent area change will be, k will be a constant, r what has been increased let's say increased value right square minus k times what was r already there right over what was r already there let's call this f as the final value right i sometimes get confused with uh, initial value so so that is how it will be since k r square is your final so that is the change in area so if i want to find percent change in area then i have to multiply this by 100 clear similarly the percent change in volume will be uh, let us assume that the volume is proportional to r q and volume will then be equal to some other constant let's say p times r q so that means we can write this as change in volume over original volume which will be p times r q times 100 is that clear so we can work on the change also so that is the basics about this now for easy calculations what we will do is we'll use r as 100 and increased value of 120 correct so we are saying that initially uh, now let's work on percentage change in area correct so initially the area will be k times r is 100 to begin with 100 square sorry 120 the final value will write first that is a bigger value divided by the initial value 120 divided by the initial value 100 square times 100 clear so as you see in this calculation, this constant actually cancels. So proportional and equal to doesn't really make any difference. Correct? Now calculation is uh, 12 is 144 and then we have two zeros. Correct? So it is 144 and then we have two zeros minus 100 then two more zeros divided by 100 two more zeros times 100. Now that clearly gives you one value on the top. Let's calculate extra zeros from here. Okay. Now these two cal 
zeros we can ask actually calculate and cancel these two from these two is that clear to you kind of right so so we have 144 minus 100 and that is 44 percent do you see how easy the calculation is so basically 12 square is 144 minus 100 gives you 44 correct so we can find that the percentage uh, increase in area will be 44 percent correct so a shortcut which you can see very clearly here is 12 square minus 10 square do you see that so that gives you uh, 44 144 gives you 44 do you see that so that is so easy to see now let's talk about the percentage change in volume so we are taking p as a constant here you know constant will finally get cancelled 120 cube minus p times 100 cube volume right divided by initial value p times 100 cube times 100 so that becomes your uh, thing right so we have now 12 cube is 1728 you can might remember but you can do 144 times 12 but anyway 12 cube is uh, 1728 so we can get this as 1728 and cube means three zeros right so one two three and cube means this hundred 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 that is what we mean correct so divided by we have cancelled all the p's think like this as we did earlier right and this is hundred 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 so six zeros are there times hundred so let's calculate easily we have got two of these zeros cancelled and now we can take four zeros common here four zeros one two three well, let me put a decimal I cancelled four of them okay so let it be like this and one two three four one two three four so all these four zeros got cancelled is that okay so decimal has come there basically I'm left with a value which is let me write down which is 172.8 minus 100 is it clear and that gives you 72.8 percent does it make sense to you now a shortcut here will be 12 cube minus 10 cube right since we were talking about cube I have to divide this by 10 correct? I have to divide this by 10 to get the answer in percent right so 72.8 percent so that gives you an idea right so so that is how you can actually solve this question key or a shortcut is uh, think about increase from 100 to 120 percentage change is 12 so we are actually working on 12 so when we are looking into area we are relating it to 12 square and if you are looking into volume we are relating it to 12 cube so that is how in a multiple choice question will be finding the option so of course it will be like some percentage less than 100 and more than 20 but it will be related to 12 square and 12 cube so 12 square I mean minus 10 square of course because that is the initial value we take minus 10 square right so so that is the number which you're looking for so 144 minus 100 is 44 and here 1728 minus 1000 is 72 728 but of course a percentage will be between 20 to 100 for you right so 72.8 percent gives you the multiple choice answer very fast do you see that so that is the uh, trick which can help you provide solution quickly in uh, some exams where the question is only a multiple choice question i hope that helps Feel free to uh, write your comment, share your views, and keep participating. I'll also provide a link here for new members to join our group. Thank you, and all the best.